Jigsaw Creek, my allhiphop.com. We here with the incomparable Cardi B. How you doing? Hey, what's up, baby? Good. I'm good. I'm the, you know, we just chilling. We in your world. We just saw the premiere of you actually getting your teeth fixed. We've seen, you know, on the social media side of things that you, you know, that was a while ago. But how you feel about what you just saw? I feel good. You know, um, I actually already knew what, what was going to happen because <laughs> I was there that day. And I'm, I'm actually real happy, you know, like I'm, I'm real glad that I used Dr. Catrice. Like, not only is she amazing, but like she's, she's one of ours. Yeah, like yeah, she's yeah. one of our people. Yeah. And she practically changed my life, nigga. <laughs> Yo, Dr. Catrice, I salute you. I salute you. In fact, she tried to get one of my friends right a few years ago, but I didn't know how to tell him you should probably get your teeth fixed. How did you come to the conclusion that you should make that happen? It was just something that people just keep talking about, keep talking about. And I know that I was going to do more things on TV. Like, I have a lot of more projects coming up on TV. And it's just like, you know what? Like, I don't want, like, my teeth distracting people from my talents or what I do. So I'm like, fuck it, let me get it fixed. And people really can't talk shit now. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they can't, they, mm -hmm. nothing. Yeah. Was it hurtful for you? Cause I know that social media, it's like a mob mentality, a lot of bullying going on. Did it, did it bother you? It kind of do hurt me, it kind of do bother me because, um, you know, I'm a woman and us women, as much as we be like, I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck. We really do give a fuck, especially when it comes to, um, to how we look like it's a little painful you know sometimes i see bitches that they my opposition on tv like the bitch from today and i don't like her but i wouldn't want people bullying her like i'm just not because it hurt like i know how that shit goes yeah, yeah. okay let's talk about your, your your rap career a little bit um i was just talking to one of my good friends today and i was like yo cardi b got some joints how did you get into the hip-hop world is that something you've always done or is that just new to you it's something that I always wanted to do. I just never really did it because I didn't have the funds for it. I never really had a manager. I never had the time. You know, when you grow up and shit, and you, you know, you realize you got to pay bills and you got to put your money in somewhere else, like rent and shit. It's like you give up on your dream. And then as I got a manager, he was like, yo, you always remixing shit. Like, you actually pretty good. Like, why don't we get to it? And I was like, I right, more or less. And I did it. And it's just actually better than I ever thought it would be. So are you uh, you trying to go for like say Nicki Minaj's slot? Are you trying to go for that number one slot? I mean, not even not even female, as just in general. I'm trying to be the best at whatever I could be. Like, I'm trying to be, you know, like I'm trying to make money, a lot of money, and I'm trying to. I want my shit to be respected. Like, you know, I'm a very funny person, and I know my character could um, overshadow a lot of things, but that's why I go so hard on my music, cause I want. To be people be like, damn, she funny, she play around, but her music is nothing to play with, and that's what I want. Respect. It's all about money. It's all about respect. So that's the other thing. How how much of that that we see on TV or even social media is really you? You seem you're so you know pretty cute and even quiet. I've just seen you real quiet in the corner. How much of the personality is really you? I mean, it really depends. Like, you know, like when I'm around my friends, that could be me. Like, or when I'm in a party, that could be me. But sometimes, you know, like when I'm in a public place, you know, you're going to act a certain way. Like being like being ratchet, it should be like a, a emotion. Like you could turn it on and off. Like that's how it should be. Like if it's always on, then it's bad. If it's never, if it's always off, then it's bad. So, you know, you have to like be balanced. You like, you need to know where a boundary, but... <laughs> <laughs> What's uh you know what do you have coming up next? Well, I actually have my mixtape coming up in this December. It's called Gangsta Mix Music Volume Two, and from that, it's gonna be it's gonna be real different. Then the push is gonna be way more different than the first one. I actually have a lot of things, also you know coming on on TV. It's just I'm you know. I'm very private. I really don't like to put things out when I like to surprise people. I love I love when I see my comments and people underestimate me. I love that, you know, because if people hype me up all the time, I'm going to get too comfortable. So I like when people be like, oh, you ain't shit. Your 15 minutes of fame going to be up, this and that. I love that. So that makes me be like, 
I got a surprise for you. <laughs> Who would you like to work with musically? I would like to great with anybody that is great, you know. I would like to work with big artists. I'm not going to name them because just in case they curve me, I don't want to be like, damn, I should have never shouted that bitch or that nigga out. But whoever that is great, I will. And anybody that is very unknown, I would like to work with as well, as long as they great. You know, no, not a lot of people know my producer is an artist, Swift on the Man, and I like working with him because I think that he's great. And if I could elevate him, that would be great. Like, I like to look out for people that's talented, that it's hard to get put on because it's a certain type of way and certain type of things that you gotta do to get put on in the industry. Now a lot of young people, young girls, and, and, and women as well, look up to you, look like, admire you even. What advice would you give anybody that's trying to maybe do what you do or get into the uh, entertainment business? Um, one thing that you have to do is, um, if I was a female, like don't be, like this is the thing, you have to be able to network and don't network in a slutty way. Like don't don't meet an artist and you and thinking like sleeping with him is gonna get you somewhere. Don't meet a producer, don't meet a, a A&R and think that sleeping with them is gonna get you away. Don't ever, don't let your pussy talk. Like let, let your music talk and um, be, be humble, be friendly. You know, so I'm I'm a very quiet. I'm not I'm not a quiet person, but I don't really like to interact too much because sometimes I get shy. But you gotta break off that show, like introduce yourself, like hey, my name is this, my name is that, and don't ever don't ever feel like you gotta sleep with somebody to get to where you wanna be. You know, a lot of people, a lot of girls, they they're real pretty and they wanna get put on, and niggas will make you feel like, well, I I, I got you, like don't you don't need that. Okay. Do you have um, do you have a top five dead or alive rapper wise? Like I said, I don't like to big up a lot of niggas because I don't ever because you know I don't know people, but like I love Fab, I love Uncle Murder, love him to death. Like it's like what, who says that? And I love Fifty Cent, I love Little Boosie. Little Boosie, that's what's up. Salute to him, Doctor Catrice. I am doing great. This has been a great night with Cardi B and all hip hop, and we're here at Sazon in New York, just celebrating the premiere of Love and Hip Hop. And I'm so glad that you trusted me with your smile. Everybody talked about your smile, and what I wanted to do is just shut them down. I've been the queen of smiles for so many years since 1998. Busta Rhymes, Missy Elliott, DJ Khaled, so many stars, Common, so many people turned to me. And when I got the call from Cardi B, I was like, I got, I got to step up to the plate, cause they are coming, they were coming so hard for you. And I wanted, it was my greatest pleasure to just shut it down, to let them know that you're beautiful. You were beautiful without your teeth being done, but like now you look like. Shmoney, shmoney, you got that like that's funny. Yes. How, like, like, how has it changed your life? Like, it has changed my life, you know, because like, um, I'm more open now to the camera. Like, it's just like, all right, like nobody could talk shit. Like every single time I say something, like even when it's something powerful, meaningful, people will still come at me for my teeth. And now it's just like, what the fuck is you gonna say now, nigga? They can't say nothing. 50 Cent said the same thing when he got his teeth fixed. Yes, and Fetty Wap just got his teeth done. So if you're out there and you're in the industry or you are dating or you just have a, a, a greater aspiration to succeed in life, then your smile is so important. It's one of the first things that people will notice about you, and that's what Cardi B recognized. So I'm glad that you called on me. Thank you so much. Aww. What makes a good smile? A good smile, yeah, the, yeah, the veneers make a good smile. Okay, perfect. What makes a beautiful smile is a clean smile. I wanted to see pink, healthy gums, fresh breath, but when you want to turn it up with your smile and take your smile to the next level, most people will at minimum do teeth whitening, bonding, change the silver fillings to white, and get porcelain veneers. That's what all of the celebrities do. They get porcelain veneers, 
She paid a little shmoney for it. We got payment plans. It's, it's an investment. Like, when you think about advancing in life, you need to make an investment in yourself. So it may be your house, buying a new house, buying a new car, but the smile is what will take you to the next level. They told me a long, long time ago I had a Colgate smile. I didn't even know, I never even heard of that term before. Absolutely, a Colgate smile is like the epitome of having a perfect smile. So, like I said, the, le the, the minimum that you could do is come to your dentist, get a checkup, cleaning, x-rays, and whiten your teeth. And I promise you, if you're looking for love, if you want to take your career to the next level, because it matters. Like a, a lot of people I see spending money on Louis Vuittons and like making sure they go to the nail salon, the hair salon, but the teeth matter so much. And I'm so grateful that Cardi B gave me the opportunity to display how I get down with the teeth. And I hated my smile. The reason why I became a dentist is because when I was in high school, hated my smile. They were buck teeth, space. I didn't feel confident. And just going to the dentist and getting braces and wearing them for a year changed my life. And I was like, at that moment, I have to be a dentist because I want everybody to understand the power of a smile. And that's why I, when I wake up every day, I love what I do. I know I'm changing life. What you think about gold fronts? What's your views on that? Okay, here's the thing with gold fronts. If it's for fashion, I'm okay with it. If you're doing it and your teeth are not clean, your gums are not healthy, because one of my pride and joys is I work with Slick Rick. He had gold front. You know, he lives by the gold front. Back in the day, I was taking care of his smile, and it was healthy. As long as it's healthy, I'm okay. I work with ASAP Rocky putting diamonds in his teeth. If it's for fashion, I'm okay with it. Um, so as long as you get it done professionally by a dentist, it's okay because we can reverse any of the results of something that we give you. But if you're going to a jeweler, you're not seeing a dentist, you're not making sure your gums are healthy before you get this done, it is a recipe for disaster. I will never forget Birdman. He said this in, in a magazine that he didn't care. He put fronts on his teeth knowing they was going to rot and corrode underneath, and he was cool with that. What, how did, you it's know. not cool because at the end of the day, it's going to hurt. And when it hurts, it's going to cost you a lot of money. So I'd rather you make sure that it's healthy first, and that's what I do with all, all of my clients. Make sure your gums and your teeth are healthy, and then we can beautify, mac it out, diamonds, grills, whatever we need to do, but let's just make sure health comes first. And after that, you're good. So every six months, make sure you're going for a checkup and cleaning. Every six months? Every six months. And if you have diabetes you may, or advanced gum disease, you may need to go every three to four months. So get that checkup. It's the end of the year. It's time to pick your new dentist, pick your insurance, make sure that you get that checkup because that oral health, that bacteria in your mouth can travel through the heart and through your bloodstream and cause serious health problems. There are 120 diseases that I can detect in the mouth. I've seen herpes, I've seen yeast infections, I've seen HIV in the mouth. All that stuff shows up in the mouth first. So before we make it nice and pretty, we want to make sure it's healthy. And that's real. That's real talk. All right, then. That was too much that reality. Too much real hey, we're talking about reality and love and hip-hop. You want to make sure that your gums and your teeth and your mouth is healthy. So. If you're looking for a dentist, if you want advice, I have a new book that's on Amazon.com. It is called Get Smiled. And that's what Cardi B did. She got smiled. Or visit my website at VIPSmiles.com. I have a special, actually a, a special for $99 where you can come to my office. We'll do x-rays. We'll do checkup. We'll do cleaning. And we'll tell you how you can have a beautiful, healthy smile, just like Cardi B. Okay, and lastly, how was it being on reality TV? Well, you know what, this is my second appearance because I was on season two of Love and Hip Hop okay. with Samaya Reese, uh -huh. and it's great, you know, it's great. So, 
What's great for me is not the fame, not being on TV, it's the opportunity to let people know how important a smile is and to display, like Cardi B, how you can, you don't have to live with your smile. It, it, there's, with advances in dentistry, you can change how you look. You can make your smile beautiful. So if there's people, you're not happy about your smile, or other people are telling you you need to change that, there's options. There's bonding, there's Invisalign, there's implants, there's veneers, there's so many things out there that people just don't know. So I am out here to be like your Dr. Oz of dentistry. I'm giving you guys the 411 on dental health. So visit me, VIP Smiles. I'm on Instagram, Dr. Catrice Austin. Facebook, Dr. Catrice Austin. Twitter, Dr. Catrice Austin. I'm just Dr. Catrice Austin everywhere. So you guys will know that there's options and you can have a beautiful, healthy smile and enjoy life and live life to the fullest. That's what's up. I'm gonna check in with you soon. Thank you so much, All Hip Hop. You rock. I, I, I follow you on social media, and you be killing it. I love it. I follow you, too, and you be killing it, too. I mean, we, we're just awesome. We're awesome together. Yep. Thank you. Love you, Chuck. Love you, too.